Hi all, Aditya here from JS of Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss the project number five, that is search help. So in this, let's create a search help uh, for a particular uh, particular field. So as I told you in the theory part, the data the, uh, the search help can be linked to a particular data element, and when whenever the data element is used in a table, there this uh, search help that we have uh, maintained will get populated. So let's go ahead and uh, search for a particular table in which we can maintain that search help. So we have a particular uh, table called set cost details. So in this, okay. So let us consider this particular field AMPNO uh, AMPNO nine. Uh, for this, the field is AMPNO. Let's check the data here. We have a couple of entries here. Three entries are there. So this is the value. These are the values that we have. Let's go ahead and uh, create search help for AMPNO, and uh, let us have this AMPNO AMPN as output. So that when we press F four, you should get those two values. In the drop down, so let us um, let us build the search help for this. Uh, first of all, we have to go ahead with the S11 transaction. In the S11 transaction search help, in the search help we have Z help underscore E N A E N O employee number. This is elementary employee number, and then here we need to give the name of that table Z E M P. The name of the temple is ZEMP. Say OK, and here we'll start giving those fields like EMPNO, and I just want to give only two fields, EMPNO and EMPNA. And EMPNO is import and export. We have to give this. We have to give some values here. You can give any particular number here. Uh, save it and activate this. Then once it's been done, Z help Z help. Underscore ENO is a search help that we have here, and uh, this Z help underscore ENO uh, we just have to connect this to the data type, and uh, in this let's change that, and in this data type, in data type we have to attach this to the data element, so the data element for our, for us is. ZEMP NO9. Let's go ahead into this, and in this, we need to click on this to switch it. And in this, we need to give that search help name here, Z help underscore ENO, which we have created there in the search help. And the parameter is what we have to select it from the from the existing fields that is EMP NO for which we want to connect this particular uh, search help and activate. The moment you create a search help there in the search help, and then you attach that search help to this particular data element wherever this data element is used in across all the tables there this f4 help will come so in this you will get the employee number employee name um, bill number uh, department will not get it because uh, we have not opted for that if you would have opted for department that would also appeared in the drop down and we will not have the drop down option for employee name or department because we have not implemented the search help so this is the process of implementing search help once we have to implement the search help in sc11 search help process and then we have to assign that search help to the data element and wherever this data element is used across all the tables that details will come so remember if we have used a particular table here only that particular table data will appear in the search help so if you have used it in another table also the values will be always taken from zemp only so this completes our project on the search help uh, which is elementary search help is what we are doing now and this completes our fifth project